Nearly 400 guns headed for Chicago streets, ready to sell to willing criminals. Those guns are now in the possession of authorities. ATF officials say this is one of the largest single gun thefts the agency has ever seen. Two investigator Dorothy Tucker is live at the Dirksen Federal Building. Dorothy, we understand one person's in federal custody, another one is on the run tonight. That's right. They are, there are two suspects. Both of them have been charged with possession of stolen firearms. A few minutes ago, a couple of hours ago, rather, one of them appeared here in federal court. CBS2 has learned that the two suspects rented a U-Haul from the south side of Chicago just about three weeks ago, and that is the truck that they used to drive down to Memphis to steal those guns. A rented U-Haul packed with boxes filled with stolen guns like these, 22 and 380 caliber pistols. But inside, there are 367 of them, earmarked for willing buyers on Chicago streets. These are the suspects. ATF officials identify them as 18-year-old Tavian Turnbow and 24-year-old Roland Jackson. They're accused of renting this U-Haul in Chicago, driving it to Tennessee, and stealing the guns from a cargo truck inside of the UPS facility in Memphis around 4 a.m. Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon, the U-Haul was back in Illinois, spotted in Midlothian outside the Walgreens on 148th Street. A caller reported two men selling drugs from the truck, but sources tell CBS2 the men were actually selling the guns. By the time police arrived, they'd sold three for a total of $400. The broken window happened when police asked the suspects to step out of the truck, but instead they locked the door. Police looked inside and saw a label in the boxes marked Ruger, a gun manufacturer. At that point, police busted the window and the men ran out the other door. After an extensive manhunt, Turnbow was captured, but there's a wanted poster out for Jackson, who's still on the loose. Now, the guns had been shipped from uh, a manufacturer in North Carolina. They were destined for Dallas, Texas. There is a $5,000 reward out for Ronald Jackson. Reporting live from The Loop, Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 News. Back to you, Robin Erica. Okay. Thank you, Dorothy.